we're back. What is going on everybody, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Ice Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a match review of Chelsea's 2-1 win in the Premier League away at Vicarage Road against Watford. Yes indeed, Chelsea continue their good form in the Premier League and there were some fantastic spells of play in this game and loads of awesome performances but this game ended in a sweaty manner and really Chelsea should have absolutely buried Watford in this game. I'm going to be telling you how the game went and my thoughts and opinions on player performances etc. A quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy if you are not subscribed already. Really important, make sure you have hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm uploading videos and all that. Oh yeah and be sure to like the video. Right then, Chelsea are coming off a loss at home. Stanford Bridge in the League Cup to Manchester United. Sure, they heavily rotated and it was against two dead ball goals they lost out to, but they needed to come back and get a win and they got that. But they probably wanted to impose themselves a bit more than a 2 1 scoreline. And you know what? They really should have. I'm going to explain why and get into all of it now. So let's open the Who Scored Match Center graphic in the analysis screen. So in the lineup, we had Kepa Riza Balaga in goal. We had Zuma and Tomori continuing their partnership in the centre-back positions. Alonso is dropped. Emerson's fit again. He comes back into the team as Pilaqueta keeps his place at right back. The midfield consists of Jorginho and Kovacic, who have been amazing of late together in terms of chemistry. Mason Mount joins them in a 4-3-3, but sometimes turns into a 4-2-3-1 with Mount going into the 10. Tammy Abraham, no surprise, starts up front. Willian on the right, as I assume but Pulisic gets a start in the left I thought it would be Hudson-Odoi which means probably Hudson-Odoi will start against Ajax Chelsea start this game all over Watford doing wonderful combinations and loads of pressure and it does not take long for them to score an excellent goal in just the fifth minute man it's an amazing ball from Jorginho he gets the ball off I think Mount he basically plays a long diagonal first time with the ball moving and he plays a wonderful pass which essentially is a wonderful assist Super, super awesome ball. Lands on Tammy Abraham. He lobs the keeper after taking the touch. It's a superb goal, but it's an even better assist. And Chelsea are looking like they mean business. Superb scenes as shortly after that goal, Jorginho is seen back in the Chelsea defence, putting in a wicked defensive block, while the Chelsea faithful away fans sing his name. Jorginho! Etc. So indeed, the opening 15 minutes is all one-way traffic. Chelsea attacking generally. But just after the first 15 minutes, Chelsea do concede the first chance to Watford as a sort of scrappy ball knocked around and then eventually uh, finishes in a shot that sort of lands in Kepa's hands. But nothing concise or threatening. In the 18th minute, Tammy has an awesome opportunity to get his second goal of the game. Mason Mount takes a shot that was rebounded back to Tammy Abraham who takes a shot that's saved by Ben Foster who will have an excellent game today. That save results in a corner, which sees a ball come in, land on Pulisic's head, and has another excellent save from Ben Foster. Two awesome saves in a very short period of time. Pulisic will feel frustrated because he's been in scintillating form and has started the game very well. At this point, I was thinking, wow, Chelsea are really demonstrating how far they've come in terms of defending in transition. Remember how poor they were at the beginning of the season, where they're looking a lot, lot better, their recovery pace is very good, and they're mopping up mistakes, and they're basically much better in transition. Which is nice. Watford kind of do enjoy a few spells of pressure almost, or at least possession between the sort of 20th and 27th minute, but nothing really comes of it. At this point, Pulisic and Mount have been making excellent runs in behind, with Tammy Abraham dropping deep. Kovacic and Jorginho have been magnificent up until this point, and generally, for the vast majority of the game, they are looking really, really good. Everyone's starting to notice their form now across all competitions. Together, they are excellent. Watford are getting a few spells on the break, but nothing really decent. And in the 39th minute, Delafeu hits one after a set piece. Um, it hits wide, but essentially, Chelsea shouldn't have given him that time and space to line up a shot and hit it. But it's okay, because Chelsea are very much on top in this game at this point. By the 40th minute, Watford have come alive a little bit more. And they're sort of seeing the ball a bit more and combining on the break. Lampard will be frustrated by this point how they're only one goal up after so many good opportunities of spells of pressure. 
43rd minute, Mason Mount hits an absolutely ridiculous shot. He's traveling with the ball and then decides to line one up from acres out. Whips it so hard, which forces a quite frankly excellent save from Ben Foster that tips onto the woodwork that shakes the whole stadium. A whipped shot by Mason Mount and yet another fantastic save by Ben Foster who's keeping the scoreline to a football match scoreline and not a cricket one. So half time Chelsea won at Watford nil and pretty much the Hornets can thank Ben Foster for that. It should be 3 nil, 4 nil, really, maybe 3 nil with a, just a generally half good performance from the keeper, but damn, he was good this half. Second half, no changes. Kurt Zuma has to make a sliding block from Gray after a little bit of creativity from Delefeu in the 47th minute, and it was a superb piece of defensive work from the Frenchman. A couple more minutes in, and it does look like Watford have started the half brightly. 49th minute, Ben Foster denies Mason Mount yet again with a good save after a break orchestrated mainly by Willian and Jorginho. More frustration for Mason. That rhymes. Watford do enjoy about 60 seconds spell outside the Chelsea box, but they're just sort of passing it around as quite scrappy and they can't really do anything with it before Chelsea turn over possession again. 55th minute, Captain America strikes again. After a hat-trick last game out in the Premier League against Burnley, you fancied him to do something in this game. Tammy Abraham received the ball out wide, gets his head up, cuts the ball back, Pull a six, heading home, he just taps that ball in. Superb for Tammy to get another assist, by the way. An attacking midfielder arriving in the box at just the right time. Who knew, eh? Hashtag Frank Lampard coach. 2-0 Chelsea, and they're absolutely worth the scoreline. It should be more. 58th minute, Ben Foster yet again denies a Chelsea player and it's the goal scorer, Christian Pulisic. He comes on the left flank, he cuts in a little bit, he shoots across goal. Ben Foster gets a hand from it on it and prevents it from being another goal in the far post. God damn it, Foster! At this point, I was thinking, wow, Jorginho genuinely keeps playing excellent long balls. He's getting better and better and he's looking like more of a proper quarterback rather than a short pass regista. Quarterback's the cool word again now. In the 62nd minute, Kovacic makes a run and he he hits a ball on goal to try and score a goal with the ball <laughs> and hits it into Ben Foster's hands. Kovacic has been so so good and when he does score apparently I have to run around naked so I'm kind of pleased he didn't but you know will I actually run around naked? Probably not, we'll see. 65th minute Kovacic has a shot slash pass maybe. Tammy Abraham's running onto it on the shoulder and he needs to toe poke that home. That needs to be Tammy Abraham's second goal if not before in the first half. He knows that he should have basically tuck that away and he screams in frustration. It remains 2-0 Chelsea. And in the 69th minute, there's yet another chance for Tammy Abraham in the box. After a scrappy sort of passage of play, the ball bouncing around everywhere, he gets the ball, he turns, he hits it and a defender slides in and blocks it. I mean, it's not the easiest of chance, but someone in form like Tammy Abraham maybe should be putting that away. And in the 73rd minute, Ben Foster gets a hat-trick against Mason Mount. He's denied him three times in this game and prevents Mount from scoring a goal. Hashtag Mason frustration. Right, here it is in the 79th minute. Watford are awarded a penalty after loads of VAR inspection. Jorginho sort of taps the back of Delafeu's leg in the box. He doesn't go down, he sees the ball get away from his feet, and then he dives. He dives. Lee Dixon in commentary was saying, if this is a penalty, the game's gone. I'm going to drop my microphone and leave the gantry. And I was kind of feeling the same. I was like, surely that's not a penalty. But Mike Dean was in the little dark room and he decided to give it as a penalty. Delafeu converts said penalty in the 80th minute. And really, this changes the complexion of the game moving forward rather frustratingly. Hudson Adoy then comes on for Christian Pulisic. Fresh legs and all that. The game starts to become a little bit more scrappy and goes up and down, both teams carving out chances but Chelsea still demonstrating more quality. Michy Beshwari comes on for Tammy Abraham after. 90th minute, Michy gets a chance. He holds the ball up well. He does his turn that he does so well, whips it across goal, but his shot is seen blocked. Zuma makes another sliding defensive challenge in the early seconds of stoppage time. Again, Zuma has been really good in this game in terms of interceptions and blocks. We're getting into stoppage time now and Watford are catching all the loose balls. It should not be like this. Chelsea have dominated the whole game. They should have been three or four up at half time, more so into the second half. They were really, really dominating, but now because of the controversy of the VAR penalty, the soft penalty, you decide whether it was a penalty, 
the mentality and complexion of the game has changed, their tails are up, and there's nervousness around the Chelsea players. Willian goes down, and he's down for a long spell, like a minute or so, with an injury, but the ball's in play, Watford have got it, so they can't make the substitution. When the ball finally goes out, Rhys James comes on for Willian. Mason Mount can see the free kick, I don't know, 30, 40 yards out of the box, and they have a set piece. This is the last couple of seconds of stoppage time. Ben Foster comes forward and runs into the box. The free kick is hit into the box. It lands to Ben Foster, who has a shot on goal, and Kepper makes a miraculous save in the final kick of the game to seal it 2-1 for Chelsea. Oh my god, scenes, heart attack, all that. Anyway, that's enough of the narrative of the game. Let's get rid of the uh, analysis screen. <laughs> Right, let's talk about some player performances quickly. Just notable ones I want to pick up. Emerson, back in the side, great. Stylistically better than Alonso. Wasn't at his best, but wasn't at his worst. Centre-backs very, very good, especially Zuma. I think him, Zuma and Tomori are the starting partnership. Rudiger's got some work to do to get back in there now. Aspilicu is decent, solid seven performance for me. Kepa, really, really good. Uh, he made that vital save at the very end, very important. Other than that, a couple of the saves. Jorginho and Kovacic were immaculate. They're so, so good together. They complement each other so well, and I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow, so check out Football Therapy tomorrow. Mason Mount is pretty good. We know what he's good at. He's direct. He's threatening. Uh, probably should have had a goal or two if it wasn't for Ben Foster's imperious form. Pulisic, very, very good. Nice. I know his goal was a tap-in, but he had to be there at the right time. He also nearly scored a header. He was moving around well. He's not amazing defensively. Um, as soon as he's a little bit better at that, he'll be an absolute diamond but he's looking very very good Christian Pulisic. Well the end good industry good combinations he saw a lot of the ball a lot went through him but towards the end he probably should have come come off a little bit sooner and Tammy Abraham got a goal and an assist so a superb uh you know shift from him. Anyway Chelsea do it they get yet another away win yet another win in the Premier League they're five points clear of fifth they're looking really, really good. What do you think? Get down in the comments below. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions on the game. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do like the video and subscribe if you're new, guys. I need to go and have a heart attack and drink more beer. So uh, you enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby